My name is Kevin, and I go by Kevin Roma or Tao Kutsuni Online. Now, I've never done a vlog or anything like that before, except for a couple videos on my business page. But since I've been requested to do a vlog series about the supernatural conventions through the eyes of a male fan, I thought I'd give it a try. Now, not only would these videos be from the eyes of a male fan, but also of someone who's super plus-sized. So please bear that in mind as well. Um, so also note that these videos are an experiment to see how it goes. If y'all like them, please tell me and I'll continue making them. Now for this video, it will show a little bit of the Supernatural Jacksonville convention, also known as JaxCon. I was actually a vendor at the convention, so sadly I don't have too much footage of the con itself. The main focus of this first video will be introducing what I plan to do and sharing my photo op stories and how the cast and other attendees viewed them. I will also include a few clips of my reactions to some ops and a quick look around the vendor's room that my friend Don got me. So please stay tuned and enjoy. Thank you! So, before all the other stories, I will be showing um, a clip of the vendor's room that my friend Don got me. So, I hope you enjoy that. You'll actually meet at least one other vendor. And after the clip, I'll show a couple of her, her items that I have off. So, enjoy this clip. Good morning, Jacksonville. I am doing this for Kevin. <laughs> I'm gonna go take you around and show you the crowd. Say hi, Jen. Hi. <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know. He said he wanted to start vlogging, so I'm gonna go take pictures of the crowd. Oh! Okay. Ready? <laughs> hi, crowd. So this is a vendor's room. I mean, SPN Jack, and I'm short, and I gotta see over the crowd. Our main theater ballroom, which currently is under, uh, they're doing opening ceremonies. I'm gonna show you around. And I'm going kind of fast because I'm supposed to get back to my booth. Hang on one second, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool person. Jody, I'm videotaping for Kevin. You say hi. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Sneak attack, huh? Beautiful, beautiful lady. He's kind of nervous about actually doing any recording, so I said, give me the camera. <laughs> I'm not afraid. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are loud in swing tables and Jason Man's table. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks. What do we got? No, 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 this is for my friend. He's just. He, I'm kind of videotaping for him so that he can see what it looks like. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, Andrea. Say hi to Kevin. Oh, hi, Kevin. <laughs> videos. Wait a minute. Crouch. Whoa, what's the line for? Oh, they haven't opened the theater door yet? They oh. just did. Oh, sweet! I'm gonna go cut the Look at, say hi, everybody! <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna duck through if you don't mind. <laughs> this is stance. So this is a typical first morning for a convention because we have people everywhere. People looking at photographs. Wait a minute, ready? Look at this. Sorry. Excuse me. No, no, it's okay. And you got shirts and bags and then more people. And we're going to come back. We're coming back around. Ah. So we got a lot of service dogs here because 
it's really, really crowded and people just need their emotional support. And we are, oh my god, look, ready, look, it's Misha. Hi! <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. As you can see, the vendor's room had a wide variety of different artists and vendors. Um, one of the people I really enjoy is Jody of Eldwin's Fantasy. Now, I have one, well, technically two pieces, but one was actually done by me, which I'll get into that in a minute. So, this is the first piece. I'm just going to show you real quick. Then I'll probably do a close-up picture of it and insert it in. Um, surprisingly, this is not a supernatural piece. It is Mystique from X-Men. But it was so gorgeous, I had to get it. I think I got this at DCCon last year. And the other piece is technically by me, but she hosted a jewelry making class through Creation at the cons. And so I did a little Loki Gabriel type inspired piece. Um, not sure if you can see that. Again, if you can't, I'll be adding a picture, but... Well, the piece isn't the best. I had so much fun in her class. So if she does have them for next year, which I don't see them listed, um, but if she does have them for next year, please attend. They're amazing. They're incredibly fun. You'll enjoy it, I promise. And they're only like 20 bucks or so. Now, before I get on to the video itself, I do want to explain that I'll be breaking the photo op stories into three sections. The intro, which is basically just explaining if I have a history or what was going on with the op or anything like that. The second part would be the story itself. And the third part, the outro, would be basically explaining how the other attendees or the guest actually handled my request and how people viewed them and such. If I can have the footage or have people, what they say about it. So my first story is David Hayden Jones. Um, I'll play the clip of my reaction for the photo op and then I'll come back and get into the story. So I am still shaking after my op with David. Um, I can't wait for the op to come out. I'm still shaking over it. Like, I'm that nervous. And, yeah, so... <laughs> but I actually powered through it, and I love how open David is for his vocals. Um, yeah. Welcome back. Before I get into my David op story, I will say that I've had a few crazy photo ops with him and interactions on Twitter. So I know he's okay with most types of poses for men and plus size people. He's one of those people that you don't really have to worry about pushing the photo op boundaries. Um, he's really game for almost anything. So for the story, I didn't really go to the convention with a theme or really planned out poses except for a few slipped guests. Um, so the theme that happened just kind of happened while I was there. So David was my only photo op for Friday. Um, when I got up to David for my op, he actually remembered me from our previous <laughs> escapades at Jersey. Um, he hugged me, I believe, my memory's still a little fuzzy on that, and then asked what type of crazy pose I wanted this time. <laughs> I explained I actually wanted to dip him. So David being the trooper that he is, he gladly let me and totally went for it. Now, David handled the op like a pro, which I knew he would. Now, for the people in line, I normally don't pay attention to what people say or do while I do the op or even after, because sometimes I'm so in a daze that I don't pay attention. <laughs> Um, but luckily, I had a new friend who I met at the con, Stephanie, in line behind me. So she was able to give me some insight on how they reacted. She says apparently that there were a few gasps as I dipped David. There was also some shocked, um, 
that I wasn't tackled by creation or anything like that. There's a couple holy shits and that sort of thing. So she says she didn't hear anything negative in line, but that was just from her spot. So I don't know about any of the other guests. Or not guests, but attendees. So my next story is actually Rob Benedict. I haven't had much interaction with Rob. My first one was at DCCon 2017 and I had a side hug off with him and Emily. I just really had no interest with him until JibCon. So at JibCon this year, he was a huge sweetie at the cocktail party. And I knew then I had to have more interactions with him. Like, oh my god, yes. Um, at JerseyCon, we actually did a more intimate forehead touch pose. And, oh my god, like, mm. For JaxCon, I wasn't sure if he would do the pose that I was going to suggest. But as with all of my more out-of-the-box poses, I did give him an out by explaining I was totally okay with him not doing it. And we can just do a hug. Um, so, it was now Saturday, as I only had David on Friday. And I decided just to do dip for anyone I didn't have a plain pose for. I asked Rob for the dip and he smiled incredibly wide and said sure, like really excited. He was so excited for it. So I tried to move him into the position with him going to be dipped back to the right like I did David. Apparently Rob has a good side. I mean, all of his sides are good, but apparently he prefers the left. Because he moves us around and I had to dip him to the left. All I remember is thinking, that damn ham. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, even with my limited interactions with Rob, he was all for me dipping him. It didn't phase him at all that I was a guy or I was asking for something like this or more intimate. So, that's a bonus. I can't really say anything on the plus size since I dipped him and not vice versa. Um, sadly, no one was in line with me to gauge reactions that I remember. Um, there might be one person which if they respond I will add um, their response to this video. <laughs> so the next story is Richard Spate Jr. Now, Rich is totally one of my favorite actors from the show, like, top five. <laughs> he has really put up with so much from me. He's always a good sport. If anything, like David, he eggs you on. So, for the story, Rich was one of my favorite interactions from both Friday and Saturday. When I explained to him that I wanted to dip him, he lit up, like, oh my god. After green he asked me, do you want me to look at you or the camera? Now, I was shocked because Rob or David didn't ask. So, after I came to, after a couple seconds, I said, of course, me. <laughs> um, and that's because I view it more as an intimate photo if we look at each other than at the camera. Now, in the end, it was a more intimate photo. After the op, my heart was skipping a beat, like... I was a little shaky. The look he gave me, oh my, just, oh. It may, still makes my heart race a little bit. <laughs> um, overall, Rich enjoyed the op. He didn't feel uncomfortable with me being a male, which I knew this before. He was totally okay with being dipped. He actually enjoyed it. I mean, you've seen his face. As for the fan reactions at the time of the photo op, there was no one in line that I knew. Um, I did hear a few awes while I was staring into Rich's eyes, but that's about it. So the next story is actually Jason Manns. Um, I did have Jensen and Jared before Jason, but I'm doing Jason first because I want to save those for last. Um, so I originally didn't plan on doing a Jason Mann's photo op for the convention. I only decided Friday, I think it might have been Saturday, 
when another friend who was a total Jason and Gil trash fan talked me into getting it off with him because she wanted to see a picture of him with the theme that I picked for the weekend. So, Jason is the only photo op I feel bad about for the whole con. I was terribly ne nervous to do a photo op with him. Uh, this was actually my first time meeting him. I mean, officially. <laughs> we kind of met at JibCon for the cocktail party, but that was mostly my friend Jen talking to him and me standing next to her. <laughs> um, because of this, I had planned to go up with a friend for the photo op on Saturday. As the time for his photo ops came closer, the friend I was planning on going up with was in line for Ruth Connell's autograph. This line was extremely long. So I actually took a break from my table to go look for her and ended up talking to another vendor, Jody of Eldwin's Fantasy. Um, and before I knew, knew it, I completely missed his photo op session. Now, I started to really get anxious because I thought he wasn't doing them on Sunday um, and only the f sessions on Friday and Saturday. And I really don't like being put on the spot or my plan is chasing, changing too much. It's just an anxiety thing. <laughs> Luckily, a friend pointed out that he was doing ops on Sunday just later than what I had planned. So, I was lucky and that kind of relaxed me a little bit. Um, so we get to Sunday and after my photo ops with Jared, which we'll get to last, a friend of mine's purse disappeared from the photo op room table and we were trying to find it. Jared still had a line so I went downstairs to see if she left it at my table or the partner I was with, their table right next to us. Um, when I didn't find it, I went to creation to see if she had, anyone had turned it in. Sadly, they didn't. So I went up to talk to her, and luckily, someone returned it to her. They picked up their own purse by mistake, since it was a common a Hot Topic purse. And once they realized their issue, or the mistake, they returned it to her. Which, that's amazing and incredibly nice. Um... So after that, we actually went back downstairs to relax for a few minutes, and I checked the time for my Jason, uh, and realized it had passed. Um, so I went right upstairs, because I know J Jared likes to go over his time frames for almost anything. Um, when I got upstairs, I explained that there, I was there for Jason. They told me Jason was already done and over with, and that they were already halfway through Loud and Swain. I started to internally freak out because this was his last photo op session for the con, and I had missed it. Um, I wasn't even gone 10 minutes from Jared, and he was still doing his ops. Um, they pulled me and another person who had missed Jason's op to the side, and while we were trying to figure out what to do, um, a lovely lady I met through my friend Dawn and Jen she literally tried calling up Jason and she has his personal number. Um, she was such a sweetie. Sadly, he didn't pick up, but Creation was able to get him back upstairs for us two people because luckily he hadn't left the building yet. So I went last and I was kind of scared to ask him if I could dip him. Um, one, because he's 6'1", <laughs> and two, because it was my first time meeting him. When I did ask, he was a little thrown off a bit, but I was sure to give him an out like I do all the guests for what some would view as strange poses for a plus-size male to be asking for. As I don't like making anyone uncomfortable, there's always that out. After his initial shock, he agreed to it and got into the pose. I didn't even realize until later that he hammed it up. Um until I got the photo op back, and oh my god, it was just a great experience. Now, when I asked for the dip photo with Jason, I probably should have done, shouldn't have done that for our first meeting, but I did. So it did throw him for a loop, and according to my Jason Trash friend, he actually gets thrown off quite easily, so that does make me feel a bit better. 
after his initial shock, I did tell him that we could do a hug instead, but he wanted to do the dip. I'd say he's slightly okay with more romantic or cutesy poses with guys, but he will be sh quickly shocked or stunned a little bit. Um, it might depend on his mood as well. Um, and since I missed his photo ops and I was the last one in line for his op, I didn't hear any reactions or anything from anyone else in the room, sadly. Now it's Sunday, and my first photo op for Sunday was Jensen Ackles. Now, Jensen Ackles is another person that I have very limited interactions with, um, mainly because he kind of scares the living daylights out of me. Um, I'm not even sure why, maybe because he's the most reserved when it comes to his interactions with me. Um, as such, his photo ops are always an experience for me because I get extremely nervous waiting for his ops. Um, this particular time, because I was doing an op idea for a friend, I was really freaking out. As you can tell from my photo ops and everything, I'm a pretty big guy. I call myself super plus sized, as I am bigger than pretty much anyone can tell in, from the photos. Um, now my friend, she's also plus sized, but she's a lot smaller than me. So she's actually scared, or was scared, that he might not dip her due to the fact that she's a bigger gal. So me being the person I am and unsure of what type of pose to do for Jensen, I decided I'd just have him dip my big butt um, and see if he'd do it. Um, so I'm freaking out in line. I'm actually getting physically sick, feeling like I'm going to throw up. Luckily, I have my friends Dawn and Jen in line with me, and as well as Alana from King Books. If you actually view her Sunday vlog, you can actually see me forgetting something after the op. Um, when I finally get up to Jensen, I ask him if it's possible for a dip pose. His response was, a dip? But, in, but he said it in like a way he said, Misha, from the French mistake, like here. Misha? I said, yeah, but we don't have to. A Charlie hug would totally be okay with me. And it was like a switch was flipped. And he totally lit up and said, dip it is. And that little shit dipped me good. Um, sadly, I looked at the camera because I thought that's what he was going to do based on everyone else except for Rich. It wasn't until after I got my op back that people told me he looked at me. Honestly, I can't even remember if I looked at him or the camera only five seconds after the op, and that's why I was freaking out in Alana's video. Um, when I got the picture back, I was disappointed because I didn't look at him, but I do love how he's looking at me. Now, for the reactions and everything, even with Jensen's dip comment, which you could tell he was only teasing, he seemed okay with dipping guys or super plus size people. Now, I will state that Jensen is a germaphobe. So if you ask for a pose or anything like that, like a forehead touch, he will not actually touch foreheads with you. He'll still do the pose, just there'll be a bit of gap. So I will say there might be a few exceptions to this, but there's not really a norm. Now we get into Jared. <laughs> oh wow. So my first photo up with Jared was completely different. Um, Jared is my main reason for going to these cons as he affected my life in such a wonderful manner. But again, that's a different story. Since my first photo up at DC con with him dipping me to being my cinder lucky he's been super excited for my photo ops he also started to remember me at cons such as jersey where he came rushing to hug me as soon as he saw me in the photo op room now i was extremely nervous for this op because like cinder lucky it was a bit more extra <laughs> um i had to have the help of two of the staff to pull it off and of course i went up alone so i was really a worry that they'll 
say no and, and be thrown for a little bit of a loop. So my first Jared photo op of the convention was actually a last minute idea that I got based on the Bad Idea Tour and a shirt I made to work out in a long time ago because I'm sorry they don't make awesome plus size workout clothing so I had to make my own. As soon as I got up to Jared and he seen me he recognized me like he did a jersey. He hugged me before anything else and asked how I've been. I told him I've been okay. Um, he asked what we were doing for the op. I explained that we were doing a runner's finish line op. I had bought a really long red ribbon that two volunteers were holding out of frame for us. I asked him to be at the finish line and cheering me on, and as usual, my favorite hyperactive puppy moose was totally into it. And I'm not even sure he fully read the shirt. <laughs> After the op, Jared didn't want me to leave. I told him that I'll be back and I just had to change shirts. Um, so unlike my other ops, I'll be doing the outro for this after all Jared ops are covered. So for my second op, I went and changed my shirt and got back in line. I was getting really nervous for the photo op. Um, I was kind of freaking out, but not like Jensen, just more worried if Jared would like the poses. I was behind a friend in line, but decided to leave to go to the end of the line when I saw other friends arrive. And I only did this because I knew the one I was in line with first wanted a private moment with Jared, and I didn't really want to distract him from that because I might with based on his other reactions with me. Um, when we were almost to Jared, I was actually pushed ahead a couple people because they heard me talking about my poses and wanting to see them for themselves. So for my second op, I wanted my very first squishy hug from him. I heard multiple stories about how he he hugs you so tight he pops your back and squishes people almost to death and I kind of wanted that so bad. Um, I finally get up to him and tell him I want a squishy hug um, and <coughs> maybe I can handle more than most or he was just being gentle with me but it wasn't that hard. I actually told him he can actually hug me tighter if he wanted to which he did but it was far from the squishy hug of my dreams. Um, it did turn out to be my favorite photo op from the whole convention, though, only because of his amazing smile in it. Now, for the last photo op of the con, well, with Jared, um, after the hug, I had one more Jared op. My last photo with Jared of 2018. Giving a little background, Jared dipped me back when I first met him at DC Con 2017. He was so excited for it that he flung me back and I actually had to reposition myself in his arms. Um, to say he was really excited would be an understatement. So this time I actually asked to dip him. Well that boy lit up like a Christmas tree. Um, you could tell he was excited for it. The way he looked at me was so amazing. All I felt was love and happiness coming from his gaze. Something I didn't even feel with Richard. Um, I literally had to hold the wall in, in the photo op room after I walked away from him because I was so wobbly that if I didn't brace myself on the wall I would have collapsed and probably fainted. That's how amazing that photo op is. Now, For the outro for Jared, overall Jared didn't, doesn't care if you're plus sized or if you're male. If anything, he seems to enjoy the crazier, more cutesy poses I've done with him, even more because I'm a guy. Um, the reaction from the photo op room for Jared Dip was amazing. I heard some ahs and squeeze. Um, afterwards, Stephanie, Don, and Jen told me that what they've heard was just amazing, holy shits, I can't believe he did that, I'm so jealous, that sort of thing. So that really boosted how I view the op, because some people have been 
not well received to the op itself because of how Jared is looking more towards me than having his face visible. But honestly, it makes the moment and the memory a lot more special to me with how he's looking at me. Now, overall for Jackson Con, it was a very lovely convention. It was a lot less busy than I thought it would be. I actually have been seeing more men and some that even go on their own than I did at Jersey 2017 or DC Con 2017. This made me excited but also a little bit jealous at the same time. Jackson Con was a little slower and did feel a little bit off compared to the other supernatural conventions I've been to, but the actors was extremely nice and so sweet. I didn't have any autographs or anything, but I heard amazing stories of how they acted and the interactions they had with fans during their photo ops. Now if you made it through this far, I will be attending the Supernatural Seattle Convention, SeaCon, in February. Now, I won't be a vendor at that con, so I might be able to do more reaction videos of myself and my friends during uh, photo ops, or autos if we have them. I might even be able to interview a person or two. We'll see. Now, I hope you enjoyed my very first vlog, and if you liked it, please... Leave a comment, subscribe, like it, thumbs up, whatever YouTube does, and I might continue the series. Thank you so much, and take care. Bye!